Welcome back to Seat Time. I'm Woody and this video is going to cover an amazing journey. I am currently driving on Friday 800 miles to Taylor Park. Made it to New Mexico. I will then ride on Saturday 220 plus miles around Taylor Park and the surrounding areas with Morgan from Island Cycles and his crew on their annual death march. I will then turn around on Sunday, drive 800 miles home and See what happens in three days. This video is gonna be a recap of that amazing adventure. I hope you're excited to join us. Get ready to enjoy getting some seat time on the 2022 Death March. Made it to Colorado. About 6 a.m. I was in a Denny's getting breakfast and now I'm here. Yeah, 12 to 13 today, so about 15, 16 total. There we yeah. go. This is not the Fuzzy Bunny Rainbow Unicorn March. It is the Death March. The deal is about Probably everybody's 50 to 75 percent is all you got to put forth, but it's got to be all day long. All right, guys, we just turned off the road onto our first bit of trail. There is no telling what the day is going to bring. You know what the morning brought? Cold temperatures. We rode a handful of miles from camp and we were all already warming our hands on our bikes. Once we got riding again, we were in and out of the cresting sunlight and the body and hands stayed warm. It was a majestic start to the day. Woo! I made the first trail thing. What did I just do? That's Rosebud. Not Rosebud. I did Rosebud. Woo! Oh, buddy! I just got the best footage ever. The guy on the gas gas kind of fell over to the right. Morgan was trying to pass him on the right, and he just took Morgan out. And so I just skirted to the left of him and barely kept going. Great. It was sick. I say I got lucky because I almost lost my momentum a few times. That always seems to be the key to rocky terrain. If you can keep your momentum, it's easier to find traction and keep moving forward. Creating momentum or traction from a full stop in these rocks can prove to be difficult. Yeah, buddy, so we're only like 15 miles in, but we got a couple trails done. You can see people riding in on the road that we got here behind us. I don't know, we're somewhere in Taylor Park. I think we just did Cement Mountain. It's been a lot of fun though. So it's a technical trail into some road. We're gonna keep riding. Enjoying Death March 2022. Beaver McIntyre, Beaver hotness. I don't really know, Morgan's over there talking in his helmet, mumbling a little bit. You know how he is with his words. But apparently we're heading to Fossil Ridge. It's been a long time since I've ridden this. So we'll see if I stay upright or if I don't. Fossil Ridge. I don't know what we're in our heads for, but this is obviously the Death March, baby. The Death March is supposed to be all the technical trails. This is technical. 
Wow. wow. My bike overheated twice. It yeah, it's right. never, I've never had overheating issues. So that kind of worries me. <laughs> None of that was pretty. I didn't crash technically, but I also didn't really stay upright. The bike boiled over twice, had to pour some on it pretty much, but man alive, that was fun. I was like pew, 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 all over the place. We gotta keep getting seat time to finish the death march though, baby. Whoa, that's pretty. Yeah, one A! Woohoo! I forgot to turn the camera on for some of those switchbacks we just went down. But they were nice and tight, baby. I did nothing but stay upright and enjoying getting seat time. Woo! I obviously boiled over a couple times. We were like, well, let's at least see if there's anything in there. So I go by couple bottles of water I just dumped 16 ounces of water in there and it's not even at the top so I'm not gonna pay for any more radiator water apparently there's a hose so yeah. we're gonna go to the hose <laughs> there's a hose it's just right over there <laughs> two dollars that I just poured in my radiator exit Pedialyte yeah enter Holy agua crap. We, we left in some there's a lot of there water. it's full oh look at that I'll keep this on this will be for the trail yeah you, you might, <laughs> this is we're gonna keep this one for the trail yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do Timberline end to end. This is not something that I've done before, I don't think. I don't think I've ever done the full Timberline. I'm really hoping I make it. Oh, look at those views! One of the best aspects of this ride was that we weren't trying to set any land speed records. Due to this, I was able to appreciate the landscape and the views a bit more. I feel most times I'm so focused on the trail in front of me, I forget to enjoy all aspects of the ride. Hey look guys, more rocks! Oh! Though I was tired, I forced myself to stand up on this piece of uphill, rocky single track. I knew I didn't need the rear brake, so while standing, I stood on the balls of my feet and dropped my heels. I also focused on looking ahead and breathing. These tactics are simple and not always needed. Except breathing. Breathing is always needed. By intentionally practicing these positions, they become second nature and I won't need to force them to happen as often. They'll just happen. Made it through whatever that part was. I always wonder what happens in these areas for all these trees to be so randomly flung about. Is it just due to the snowfall over the winter? Falling trees, or is it something more fun? Are there massive Yeti family feuds that happen in these woods? Where Yetis are picking up trees and flinging them across the valley at the other Yeti tribes? Whatever it is, these sections of trail are always a bit precarious due to the tight tree trimming and the rocks. Just need a little bit more momentum. Woohoo! Woo! Goggles came off. Boo! Oh, well, I made it and then the goggles came off. It's not turning back on. This is where the day really starts to unravel for me. What power button? Like, the bike has a power button. Which is stupid, but here we are. What the f That's dangerous. This is where the day and the drive truly start to wear on me. I drove 15 hours to get to Taylor Park, 
which though we may not think about it, takes a toll on the body physically and mentally. Add in the 80 plus miles we have ridden so far, all the bike issues I've been dealing with, and it makes sense that I'm becoming quite the basket case. I always do this to myself, what the f That, right there. I always do this to myself, what the f I'm making up a story. I'm beating myself up for nothing more than a simple mistake. Mistakes happen, and I shouldn't let the compounding nature of a long day on the bike dwindle my confidence in myself. Yep, this is where the ride gets real. Are you just putting some gas? Yeah, I just ran out. Like reserving everything? No, I didn't run out of reserve, just... How many do you have of those? Oh. That one? This is it. Right on. Well, this isn't the way I wanted it to end, but my bike is doing some weird stuff, Morgan. <laughs> yeah. It's doing a lot of like, goey and then stoppy. Yeah, like it'll <laughs> run and then it won't. And it's just, it, I got no confidence in it, which is just bringing my confidence down. Yeah. So it's just a perfect spot right now to yeah. call it a day. Yeah, the on off button is just maybe shorten out or something like that. Obviously super annoying. And it just keeps cutting out even on the road. There's just no point in continuing to try to ride. That's not gonna go good. Gonna get back to camp, pack up, head back to Texas, talk about the day. Ow! Obviously, I did not do a good enough job prepping the motorcycle after the Shady Burrow Enduro. It took way more out of me physically and mentally and physically than I thought it did. So that's a huge learning for me. Obviously, the drive time too was something I didn't expect even though I know sitting behind the wheel for a long time can wear you out physically and mentally, it hit me way harder than I thought it would. So I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about my nutrition and my hydration and that I'm doing a decent job, but I learned that I need to do a better job when it comes to the motorcycle. But the good thing is, is that Liam and I are gonna be getting some more seat time together. We're gonna have a lot of fun making content, riding dirt bikes, maybe even some mountain bikes in the near future for you guys. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. What do you think? Let's get some seat time. Let's get some seat time. I like it. So if we don't get a chance to see you guys on the trail, we're going to see you on the internet. You enjoy getting some seat time, and we'll see you at the next one. Peace. Peace.